brothers and sisters. We still in the biography and in the story and the biography and the seerah of one of the best prophets of children of Israel, one of best children of Yaqub alayhi salam. This is Yusuf alayhi salam. And Yusuf alayhi salam was very special prophet. And his story and his biography was very special one. Until Allah Azza wa Jal describe it, the best story. نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ أَحْسَنَ القصص. We reveal to you the best stories. And in this story, there are a lot of lessons. There are a lot of wisdom. There are a lot of important things every believer, every mu'min, every Muslim should understand and should follow. The story of Yusuf alayhi salam is a platform. It's a platform to every caller to Allah, to every preacher to Allah. And because this story is very special in this point, Allah Azza wa Jal revealed in Ayah 108 in Surah Yusuf, revealed to his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and order him to say, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي O Muhammad, say, this is my way. This is my way. I call people to Allah with full understanding, with full insight, with full uh, clearness, with uh, complete comprehensive. This is the way. قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي I call to Allah عَلَى بَصِيرَةِ full reception أنا ومن اتبعني both I and my followers so if you consider yourself from the followers of Prophet Muhammad this is the way this is the method this is the platform قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةٍ أنا ومن اتبعني I and my followers وسبحان الله وما أنا من المشركين and I didn't from those people who associate partners with Allah so this ayah is very important and this ayah is in Yusuf عليه السلام chapter and this ayah clarify to everyone that the story of Yusuf, peace be upon him and blessing be upon him, is a method for every preacher, for every caller to Allah who wants to succeed in his goal, in his mission, in his uh, calling the people in, his, in this life. And the method for every reform, for the people who are Muslim, who would like to fix the problems, to to prepare, to, to fix the uh, believer situation nowadays, who wants to reform, to have an impact in this life. So, and this is the past, is not only for Yusuf alayhi salam, it is for all messengers. Peace be upon him and blessing be upon them. So, we must follow it. We must abide by this path and fear, and be patient, and do good, and bear harm for the sake of God Almighty. And bear everything we meet for the sake of God, for the sake of Allah. Whatever this uh, difficulties, whatever this patient, whatever this things we have to face. And this is the path of Yusuf. This is the path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
Because Rasulullah said, Qul hadihi, Oh, Prophet Muhammad said, This is my, this is my way. This is my uh, method. This is my platform. Ad'u ila Allah ala basira. I call to Allah. I call to Allah with uh, insight, with uh, understanding, with all of these which support my mission. Ad'u ala basira. أنا ومن اتبعني I am and the people who follows me وسبحان الله وما أنا من المشركين and he say the almighty God I didn't make any uh, shirk with him so now if we go back to the story of Yusuf عليه السلام and the story of his دعوة إلى الله his calling Uh, to Allah. This story really start in prison. When he entered the prison and how he convert the prison to place to da'wah. And this is very important that the person who called to Allah, he didn't look to the environment around him. He didn't look to the situation. This is his mission. Wherever he are, in the airplane, in the bus, in the, uh, the party, in, in the prison, wherever he, he were, he called to Allah. But in the good advice and in a wisdom and in a wise way. So uh, Yusuf alayhi salam, two people enter with him the prison. And this is ayah number 36 chapter 12 دخل معه السجن فتيان قال أحدهما إني أراني أعصر خمرا two men entered the prison with him one of them told him that I uh, saw myself in uh, the dream uh, pressing wine and the other said uh, and I said that uh, there is bread on my head and the birds eating from this so tell us inform us of its interpretation indeed we see to be of those who do good inna naraka min al muhsinin we see you are min al muhsinin and this is the first point this is the first point the first thing to the people who preach to allah they should be they should be from al muhsinin from Al-Muhsinin. And I think we discussed last uh, meeting the meaning of Al-Muhsinin. Those people who are in the highest level of morals with the people, they don't treat the people with uh, just, they treat them with forgiveness. They treat them with generosity. They treat them with what is over justice. And this is Al-Ahsan, how you treat Uh, your uh, people around you, your uh, family, your uh, followers. This is the way how you treat them. Al-Ihsan. And this is very clear to everyone. Everyone knows that this person is so and so and so. All the people knows and all the people said, if someone bring very nice perfume, the people said, all the people will smell this nice uh, sense. And when you bring a nice food or a good food or a delicious food, everyone will say, oh, what about, from where, how you did it? And also, if someone has high moral, and if someone is from Al-Muhsinin, everyone will feel this. The people in the prison feel this. His brothers, when they came to him at the end, they told him, inna naraka min Al-Muhsinin. We believe you are from Al-Muhsinin. Really, uh, to, to translate this word in English, it's a little bit difficult. They said uh, good deeds or good, really good, this is the closest uh, word. But Al-Muhsinin, it is something over this, something above uh, this. It's attitude with the people and with your Lord. Al-Muhsinin with Allah, who worship Allah, And they feel that they watch their Lord. And if they didn't watch him, they believe 
certainly that he watches them for this reason. The people in the prison bear witness to Yusuf that he is from Al Muhsinin. His brothers told him, We watch you from Al Muhsinin. And Allah witnessed to Yusuf that, وَكَذَلِكَ نَجْزِ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And in this way, we reward the Muhsinin. So, what I want to say that, the people who preaches to Allah, the people who call to Allah, they should have high level of moral, high level of iman and ihsan. And if someone said, oh, Sheikh, uh, uh, I will wait until I will have this. No, you shouldn't wait. You should complete your moral. You should complete. And at the same way, you try to do best in your calling to Allah. If you wait, life will end and we will do nothing because it is impossible to complete ourselves to the uh, complete maqamat. We, we try. Everyone has a percentage. 60, 70, 30, 10, whatever. But we need to increase our level more and more. What I want to say that people who call to Allah should have high moral, should try their best with their iman and with their ihsan. Second thing, second thing that about Yusuf and his calling to Allah. After that, al-ihsan is one of the attitude of the people who call to Allah. The, 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 the person who should call to Allah, who should make calling to Allah his first priority. His first priority in his life. Yusuf faced a lot of problems. Brothers threw him in the well. The other people of uh, tribes take them and sell him in very cheap. In the house of uh, Al-Aziz, uh, the wife of Al-Aziz did what she did to him. And now they threw him in the uh, prison. And in all of these, he is completely innocent. Not 90%, not 100%. He is innocent for this reason. From the attitude of Da'iyah to put calling to Allah his first priority. Not to say, oh, I am in difficulty. Now they put me in prison. After, before that, that happened to me. Now it is not time for calling the people. No, I think Yusuf didn't. He is in a prison. The people came to him. He didn't tell them his story. The people in the prison always uh, told them their story. How the people wronged were him, how they uh, unjust with him, how he is innocent. And he tried to convince the people about his story. And, and Yusuf السلام, has a lot to tell those men who come to ask him. And they will be uh, support him and they will be uh, uh, with, with him. But he called them to Allah instead of told them about his problem. And he started to tell them, Any, any uh, food, any rizq, anything, I will tell you about it before it will come to you. This is from what my Lord taught me. I left, I left group of people who doesn't believe in Allah and they reject the Akhirah. This is Ayah 37. And this is very important. Our children who are their friends with whom they are going, other people, young people, youth people, where they are going, with whom they are going. This is what Yusuf said. I left the people who didn't believe in Allah. I call them. If they come with me, they are welcome. If they didn't come with me, it's enough because those people will take me to bad places, will take me to bad habits, will push me to uh, be far away from Allah. They push me to deviate from Astirat Mustaqim. So Yusuf said, I left those people who are not believe in Allah Azza wa Jal. And I follow, I follow my fathers, Ibrahim, Ishaq, Yaqub, and all of those, they have real tawheed to Allah Azza wa Jal. They don't have any shirk 
And this is a gift from Allah to us. This is a gift from Allah to us. So, very important thing that the da'ya should be from al muhsinin from high moral. Second thing that da'wah should be the first priority in his life. Third thing, how to use the chances. Now there is a chance. Those people came to him. Those people ask him. And those people feel that he is an innocent person. So he use this and he start to advise them. And he start to bring them back to believe in the one God. And he told them, Ya sahibai sijin. It's ayah number 39. Ya sahibai sijin. A'arbabu mutafarriqun? Amillahu al-wahidu al-qahar. Oh my combination of prison. Are different gods better or Allah the one? Are many gods better or the one? And this is very important today because we have one God. But we have thousands of fabricated gods. And this is very important nowadays to return. Science today prove that there is only one power who control everything in this exist, who control, who create, who do, who did, whatever the name everyone use, but there is a truth. There is a reality about, about this. So he uh, used this chance to advise, advise them. Ya sahibai istijan. Aarbaamu mutafarriqoon amillahu al-wahid al-qaha. Something very important. Something very important attitude to the people who preach to Allah, to the people who call uh, to Allah. And this is how he is very polite with them. He is how he talked to them. He told them, Ya sahiba istijan. Oh, my friend. Oh, my companion. And, and they are in the prison. They are criminals. He didn't say, oh, criminals. Oh, the, the people of rejecting. Oh, the no. He told them with very nice word. And this is how all the prophet and messengers. Ibrahim, alayhi salam, told his father, Ya Abati, oh, my father. And he is a rejecter. He is a rejecter. And he told him in this way. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa told his people, oh my people, oh my uncle, all my, <clears throat> told them in the best way. So anything against this attitude, it is not from Islam. Who ever said this, why, whatever he said, it is not from Islam. This high attitude is Islam. This high moral is the Islam. How to deal with those people in the best way. In the best way. وَلَا تُجَادِلُوا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنَ Don't argue with the people of the book except not in a good way, in a best way. This is the Quran. Anything else against this, it is not from the Quran. It is from their mind. It is from their attitude. So the real preacher to Allah has this moral. Ya sahibai sijn. Oh my friend. Oh my people. My companion in, in, in a prison. Aarbabun mutafarriqun. Amillah al-wahid al-qahar. Also, the fourth important thing that he uh, said clearly that everything I have, it's a gift from Allah. Everything I have It is something Allah provide me and make rizq to me. And this is in ayah number 38. ذلك من فضل الله علينا وعلى الناس ولكن أكثر الناس لا يشكرون. This is from the gift from Allah to us. ذلك من فضل الله علينا. This is, is Allah gave it. To me and to my parents and to my family, all this knowledge, all this uh, ihsan, all this moral, this is gift from Allah. So always, always he mentioned Allah 
as a source from the ni'mah, as a source from the gift. Not because I am very clever, not because I am very hardworking, not because of this and this and this and this. There are a lot of people more clever than you. There are a lot of people more hardworking than you. But you know, this is a gift from Allah to you. This is a rizq from Allah to you. رَبِّ قَدْ آتَيْتَنِي مِنَ الْمُلْكِ وَعَلَّمْتَنِي مِنْ تَأْوِيلِ الْأَحَادِيثِ This is Yusuf 101. Oh my Lord, you gave me from the uh, power and you taught me how to explain the uh, visions and the dreams. You taught me this. And also, uh, Yusuf in everywhere said that in ayah number 37, ذَلِكُمَا مِمَّا عَلَّمَنِي رَبِّي This is from my Lord taught me. In every position, he mentioned that he is the Lord. He is Allah. He is the one who told and he is the one who gave. Something else. And also it is very important way to the people who call to Allah. He said that <clears throat> he used the way to convince He used reason. He used the wisdom. He asked the Arbabu Mutafarriqun Amillahu al Wahdu Qahar. He told them if there are uh, many drivers to the car at the same time or one driver, what do you think? Everyone said one driver. If there are two drivers, there will be an, an, an accident. Is there one director to the company or uh, many um, uh, general director? No, there is one general director. There is one king. There is one president in every position. Otherwise, it will separate. Otherwise, it will corrupt it. And also in this universe, many gods, better or only the Allah, the Almighty, the one who control everything, the all-knowing, the all-hearing, the creator with all these attitude and attribute. So for this reason, the person who called to Allah, he should use this wise way. He should convince the mind. But, and this is very important formula, you convince the people without hurting their feelings. You enter their heart without damaging them. You convince their mind without damaging their heart. There are some people nowadays, they are fighting. They are, no, no, it is not. This is not the way for the people. Maybe I, I convince the, the, you that this is the best food you can, but now you don't find the ability to eat. Yes, you convinced this is the best food, but I don't want to eat it. This is the best way, but I don't want to follow it because you hurt his feeling. You hurt his heart. No, we should convince them in a nice way, in a right way, in the best way. And this is how Yusuf السلام, told them. This is how convinced them. أَأَرْبَابُ مُتَفَرِّقُونَ خَيْرٌ الْوَاحِدُ الْقَهَارُ And also, a very important attitude to the people who call to Allah, that you start with the most important thing. We don't go to the details. You don't go to the other things. I want to call someone to Allah. I want to uh, bring someone who is atheist or atheist or whatever. Oh, you drink wine? No, I will not call. I will not tell you. Are you serious? Are you serious? First of all, we have to talking about existence of Allah. We have to talking about the unity of Allah. And this is how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam call the nations. When he sent to the uh, Romanian emperor, he sent him a message. Ta'alaw ila karimatin sawa. Come to one word. Allah na'abuda illa Allah. To worship no one except Allah. Wala nushrik bihi shay'an. And have no partner to him. This is what Rasulullah called the other nation. He didn't give them what is right, what is wrong. No, no. 
this is the first everything in one side and this is in the other side and this is what we start with the people and if so, if you convince someone about the existence of Allah and about the unity of Allah you save him to be forever in the hell yes only this you save him to be forever in the in the hell and this is the first important mission whatever he is whatever he believe whatever you start him with this after you convince him about this now you do what you'd like to do but step by step not everything at the same time oh we have the quran more than 6000 you have to follow no no step step by step for entire of his life for the entire of his life this is the way how should we call uh, to allah azza wa jal and this is the way how should uh, uh, ask the people to come to allah azza wa jal and also another important way yusuf alayhi salam use in his calling to allah he used questioning questioning you know in a nice way because questioning you make him attractive to you he wake him up he move his mind he push him to think he push him to look he uh, push him to understand and this is very important thing he asked them are many gods better or one do you think many people to drive the car is better many people to uh, to, to drive the airplane is better or there's be the one there are some people around him but he is the one who uh, who is the pilot to the uh, airplane otherwise it will corrupt so he used this questioning and this questioning is very important to the people who call to Allah unfortunately when uh, the people call to Allah met uh, an atheist one he start to ask them what about this what about this no you should ask him you should ask him about all of these things and he should answer you one time i was in the museum in chicago and i met one of the scientists over there and i told them uh, it looked like you told us a message that everything happening by itself he said yes this is the cell how it go to this how it go there. i said yes you have two choices to accept that there is a creator who prepare the environment for all of these or you have to answer me thousand of question about every step the cell from where it come how it become like this from where the pressure coming from where the heating coming from where from where from where there are a lot of question so you have to ask those people who uh, doesn't believe and if we return to surah al-waqi'ah there are many questions did you look to your sperm did you create it or we created and then allah asks did you see what you plant did you plant it or we give him the life and grow the plant and after that allah asks did you see the water you drink did you bring it from the clouds or we bring it to you if we wish we will make it uh, salty so you didn't thanks your lord so question but the problem muslim didn't understand the way of quran muslim didn't follow the uh, wisdom of quran If they follow nowadays to convince someone, they use the, the Greek philosophy. Yes, uh, if you are studying in Sharia faculty or in Islam, you, you can read this 
But this is not a good way to convince the people. No one will accept this way to, to, to convince the people. You have to use the way of Quran. You have to question those people. Who created this? Who made this? How this happened? How this? Uh, and, and you know what? And if you know all of these, now you can create life. But furthermore, you don't understand how the life created. How can you create life? And how about the one who created life, who created death, who created the, th the sun, who give us the rain, who bring to us the oxygen? You know, we have endless of proofs about the existence of Allah. And this is the question we have to ask to atheist people. This is the question we have to ask the people who has association to Allah in their faith and in their iman. So the biography of Yusuf alayhi salam is great method, is a great platform in calling to Allah. And believe me, there are a lot, but we, we have to move. We cannot stay in, in one point a lot, but this point deserve how Yusuf make this and also how Allah order his prophet Muhammad at the end of the chapter of Yusuf that this is the way. This is the way to call to Allah. قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي This is my way. This is the way to call to Allah. I call to Allah. I am and the people who are with me. So any people who are away from this, it is their way. It is not the prophet's way. It is not uh, Yusuf alayhi salam way. It is not the Quran way. It is not the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam way. This is the way. قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ I call to Allah. I am and the people who are following me and I am not from the people who associate with Allah anything. May Allah give you khair and afia. May Allah accept from all of you. وَالْحَمْدُلِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ الفاتحة. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك ولا تجعلنا يا إلهنا يا مولانا من الغافلين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه واغفر اللهم لنا ولوالدينا ولمشايخنا ولأرباب الحقوق علينا والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة